um, perhaps quite brief call on this legislation. It's, um, these issues have been canvassed a great deal in the past uh, with the Electoral Finance Act a few years ago and now this one. Um, it was, I want to thank all of those who worked on this legislation, all of the officials um, who did a very good job from, because we were dealing with three lots of bills at the same time. So we had uh, the MMP referendum bill, we had this bill, uh, electoral finance reform and the parliamentary services bill. So a range of um, officials doing various parts of the work and I think the advice that we found in committee was excellent, it was excellent advice and very helpful. Um, the process itself was, was very interesting. We had some interesting clauses like the wood clause in this legislation which means that um, the wood that is used for putting up billboards is no longer considered to be an election um, expense. You know, lots of passionate discussion about where the wood for particular hoardings comes from. Sometimes these um, processes get uh, just a little odd um, on occasion, that being one example. But so I do want to make particular note of a supplementary order paper that the Green Party has put forward on part one of this legislation, and that is to reduce um, from what is currently in, in the bill the disclosure, donations disclosure limits, um, at which point this is the threshold at which parties and candidates are required to disclose to the public uh, who has given them donations. And in previous times um, it was uh, $1,500 for a candidate. Um, if I remember rightly, I might have that wrong. It was, but this legislation, in any event, this legislation has reduced that threshold. So it is, or increased the threshold. So it is now um, easier for candidates and easier for political parties to hide the money uh, or to hide the source of the money that is donated to them for their election campaign. Now, the only argument that was put forward as to why this was necessary to make it easier for political parties to potentially engage in more corrupt practices, because frankly that's what that is, um, is because all the other limits, financial limits, in the rest of the bill, like uh, the limit that a candidate could spend, for example, went up. And because everything else seemed to go up, why not put this one up as well? Uh, of course, that is, a, that is a ridiculous piece of logic. It's absolutely irrational. There's no, the purpose of having a low disclosure threshold for donations is so that the public knows who it is that is giving money to candidates and to political parties so they can assess whether or not there is some form of payback likely or possible in the party or candidate's policy should they be elected uh, to Parliament. Now that is, there's nothing to do with whether there should be, candidates should be able to spend more. You know, you can have that argument over here. It's got nothing to do with the fact that the public are entitled to the highest levels of transparency and to a system that is striving always to be the least corrupt that it can be, to have the highest levels of integrity that it can have. And what this legislation has done, amongst a number of very good things, like the, um, um, the spending cap for third parties, which we support, but what this, this legislation is also doing is enabling candidates and political parties to, to engage in a, a greater level of potential corrupt practice. And that can't be acceptable. That is not acceptable to the public. It's not acceptable to, it shouldn't be acceptable to this House. This isn't, should, this, we should not be passing legislation that allows that to happen. Um, a, this is a very, very serious concern that was dismissed in large part by the members of the Select Committee uh, across the board, as far as I understand, um, particularly from um, ACT and, and National, because obviously they don't mind that we have a less transparent system. They don't mind that we have a system that has a great deal less integrity, um, particularly when it comes to transparency to the public about where political parties are getting their money from. Now, we've also seen recently the same issue being raised um, at local government level, and I know and my colleague Russell Norman has legislation that would uh, require um, the uh, same levels of disclosure at local body election level um, as is required for MPs and for parties so that the public do know who donates money to local government, local body election campaigns and candidates. And that is quite right that that happens because, again, we cannot allow 
or continue to allow a political. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. Material to right. We cannot continue to allow uh, political players to uh, to seek and to receive donations from interests that may, in fact, be uh, paying this money in order to get policy kickbacks later on. I mean, that's the threat. That's the why you have a significant regime that protects the integrity of the system. Now, we need that in local government um, as well and as at central government level. And as I say, the Green Party has a members' bill that would do that. And we hope that at time it comes up in the ballot and we can have that debate. But it makes it very difficult to be looking at making those changes at local government level when even at this level, um, in terms of uh, the general election, uh, the parties, um, some of the parties in this House are prepared uh, to allow this change to happen. So the Green Party is, uh, has put up in supplementary order paper uh, reducing the disclosure thresholds from $1,500 to 1000 for a candidate and uh, from $15,000 to $1,000 for a party. And we sincerely hope that other political parties support this legislation, that they make a stand in favour of transfer transparency, that they make a stand uh, to support honest politics, healthy politics, a situation where the public can continue to have faith in the integrity of our system because as members of parliament, as political parties, we continually seek to improve the integrity of the system. And unfortunately, fortunately, this legislation fails to do that. It erodes the integrity of the system. It erodes the, the faith and the trust that the public have in us, that we will, we will set the rules for how we operate and what benefits us in a way that preferably benefits them more. And that is not what we're doing with um, this, uh, this change that's in this legislation. So I sincerely hope and would ask that uh, MPs and parties from across the House would support the Green Party's supplementary order paper to uh, lower the disclosure thresholds for the transparency of donators to political parties and to candidates. Thank you. Members,